Track 19. 1. Introduce. Introduction. 2. Presentation. Present. Present. 3. Suggest. Suggestion. 4. Project. Project. Projector. 5. Inform. Information. 6. Explain. Explanation. Track 20. So, who's going to do the introduction? Well, I suggest you present the first part, Farouk. You've done a lot of work on this project, after all. Well, OK, I'll start. But you've got a lot of information, too. I think you should explain the next two slides. Track 21 OK, everyone. The first thing we have to decide is our topic. I mean, what exactly are we going to talk about? We know the course is art history, and the subject is Italian painting, but that's still too big. We have to choose a particular topic. What do you think, Mandy? I think we should concentrate on a single painter. But, on the other hand, if we discuss more than one artist, it'll be easier to make comparisons and show the differences between them. That's a good idea, Edward. It'll give us more to discuss. Right. So the next thing is to decide which artists to look at. I think we should definitely include Michelangelo. You know, he painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. He's very famous. And what about Leonardo da Vinci? They were both great painters. What do you think, Beth? They're OK, I suppose. But don't you think everyone else will choose them? How about Botticelli? His painting is very different from the other two. I agree with Beth. Why don't we have Michelangelo and Botticelli? I'm happy with that. Everyone else OK with it? Track 22 Right, guys. Let's have a look at what we're going to put in the slides. The first slide's going to be the introduction, isn't it? So I guess it should have a title. How about Michelangelo and Botticelli? A comparison. Yeah. So we've got the title... Don't you think we should make a list of bullet points for each of the slides in the presentation? Oh, yes, definitely. How many slides do we have to do? Well, the presentation's ten minutes long, so we should probably have a maximum of six slides. Remember that Beth's already got two slides about Botticelli. Well, why don't we do two slides each? That'd be eight, including the introduction and the conclusion. That sounds fair enough. Let's do that. So, who's going to do the rest of the slides? I can start off with the introduction, and then I could do the conclusion and the summary at the end. What do you think? Great. I'd like to talk about Michelangelo's paintings. I've done quite a lot of reading about them. Fine. So, I could do a couple of slides showing how Michelangelo and Botticelli are similar and how they're different. Track 23 We want the presentation to look as if it's been made by a team, don't we, Edward? I think we should have one design for all the slides. Do you agree? Oh, yes, of course. We don't want a different colour for each slide. Shall we design a slide now for the rest of the group to use? Yes, let's do that. Let's have a look. This slide has the program icon on the title box. Shall we keep it there? No, I don't think so. It hasn't got anything to do with the presentation. Let's take that off. Fine. And I think we should keep the blue bullet points. They match the light blue title box. What do you think about putting images in each slide? 
Oh, absolutely. I think we should put at least one image in each slide. Good. We're agreed then. Let's send this slide to the other, shall we? Track 24. Okay, everyone. I've put all our slides together so we can see if we're happy with the presentation. I think we need to check that we all agree with the order. There's nothing to decide about my slides, the introduction and the conclusion. Obviously, one of my slides goes at the beginning and the other one at the end. Edward's slides, comparing the two artists, will have to go after Beth's and Mandy's. What we need to decide is which artist should go first, Michelangelo or Botticelli. Well, Michelangelo is more famous than Botticelli, isn't he? I mean, everyone's heard of him. Maybe he should go first. What do you think, Beth? Um, I'm not sure that just being famous is a good reason to put him first. OK. So, isn't it sensible to put the artist who was born earlier first? Who was that? When was Michelangelo born? In 1475. And Botticelli? In 1445. So, let's put Botticelli first and follow with Michelangelo. Track 25. Section 3. You will hear three students talking to their tutor about the presentation they are planning. First, in the exam, you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 1 to 4. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Good morning, everyone. So, you're going to tell me about your presentation. First of all, what's your topic? Did you say you were going to talk about the uses of mobile phones? Uh, not exactly. We're actually going to explain the dangers of using mobile phones. Ah, OK. That sounds interesting. What are you going to discuss exactly? Well, we've planned to divide the presentation into three sections. We'll have an introduction explaining why we think it's important to understand the dangers of mobiles. Then, on the second slide, we'll have a list of the different types of danger. And then on the last slide, we're going to suggest ways of staying out of danger when you use a mobile. Yes, we want to start by telling the audience that using a mobile phone can be dangerous and then go into more detail in the next part. OK, but before you talk about the dangers of mobiles, I think you should mention the advantages. You could put that in your introduction. It balances up the argument a bit. Oh, yes. I see what you mean. Right, we'll do that. Before you hear the next part of the conversation, in the exam you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 5 to 7. Track 26 now listen and answer questions 5 to 7. So, shall we have a look at your presentation? Did you bring it with you? I've got it here on a memory stick. Can we show you on your computer? Yes, that's fine. Let's have a look. Hmm. Right. As you say, you're going to add the advantages of using mobile phones to the first slide. Good. Who's going to explain the second slide with all the dangers? That's me. Do you think I've got enough detail? Yes. I think there's plenty of information, but I think it's all a bit mixed up at the moment. I mean, you've got dangers like getting headaches in the same list as having car accidents and being robbed in the street. They're all different types of danger, aren't they? I think you should divide them into groups, maybe under separate titles like health, accidents and security. Oh, right. Yes, thank you. That will make it much clearer to the audience. Mm. OK. Now, in the third slide, you can put your suggestions for staying away from each of these dangers under separate titles. 
Before you hear the rest of the conversation, in the exam you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 8 to 10. Track 27 Now listen and answer questions 8 to 10. Have you got any other questions? Um, yes. The presentation should be for 10 minutes. Is that right? Yes. But 10 minutes in total, including 3 minutes for questions. So you'll only talk for 7 minutes. That's only 2 minutes each. We won't be able to say much in that time at all. That's why you have to plan what you're going to say carefully and make sure you only include the most important information. For instance, you won't have time to give examples, but you could put some images on your slides that show examples without spending time talking about them. Hey, that's a good idea. And the audience can look at them while we talk. And another thing. Make sure all the slides have the same style. You should get together and agree on one style for the whole presentation. OK, we'll do that too. Thanks a lot for your help. That is the end of section 3. In the exam, you will have half a minute to check your answers. Damn! Uh.